Hey guys, so Huawei finally announced their 2018 flagship phones. Instead of P11, they went straight to the 20. So they announced the Huawei P20 series, which includes three phones, the Huawei P20, the P20 Pro, and the P20 Lite. Now there's a fourth one as well, which is called as Huawei Mate RS, which is the new Porsche design smartphone. So let's talk about five important things you need to know about the new Huawei P20 phones. Number one is the notch. So yes, the notch is here everyone is talking about it definitely inspired from the great king of the notch iphone 10 huawei even says that their notch is smaller than the iphone 10 like they are actually proud of it they're cool about it and they're embracing it with no issue whatsoever even though people a lot of people out there hate it so it's not really a surprise we have seen it coming months ago the notch is here and huawei took a lot of inspiration from apple but it may not be as bad as you think because the software actually lets you hide the notch so it's not going to be a big problem if you hate it you can hide the notch by adding that uh, black bars on the side so it's gonna blend in and it will feel like a top bezel the thing that bothers me about the design of the P20 is that it still have a bottom bezel despite having the notch, which is not cool. Number two, crazy new color. Huawei for the first time introduced a gradient color look, and I have to say it's the most beautiful color I've seen on any phone. Like this is really really good looking color i like the lilac purple on the galaxy s9 but this is just too damn pretty it uses a non-conductive vacuum metallizing to generate a unique gradient look it looks super premium and of course it is still a gloss phone so you're gonna have to deal with those fingerprint smudges but yeah this color is cool and huawei calls it the twilight color so if you're gonna buy this i think this color should be the one you should go for number three triple camera now huawei has released so many dual camera phones and they have finally released a first ever world's first ever triple camera phone so the p20 pro is the first phone to have triple cameras on the back now the main two camera sensors are the usual cameras like we have seen on huawei p10 family that traditional monochrome and rgb combo but now the third camera is added for that telephoto zoom so it's the 8 megapixel resolution camera that lets you do 3x optical zoom or 5x hybrid zoom as for the main dual cameras you have 40 megapixel rgb camera sensor and a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor so huawei has bumped the resolution to a monster level you can take 40 megapixel high resolution photos which is insane the quality of the pictures will look amazing by default the phone will combine different pixels into one and make a high resolution 10 megapixel picture this strategy is very similar to the late grade lumia 1020 now the pixel size for the p20 pro camera is set to be 2 micron meter which is huge for a smartphone this will allow the phone to take a lot brighter and high resolution picture compared to let's say pixel 2 camera which has a 1.4 micrometer pixel size this is why as of now the p20 pro has the most dxo mark score ever coming at 109 and that's a lot more than Galaxy S9 or Pixel 2, almost 10, 11 points ahead uh, compared to those phones and much ahead of iPhone 10. That's a crazy leap. I mean, we haven't seen this much increase in the score, even with the Pixels when they got released. So Huawei P20 Pro is setting the bar on a whole new level. Even the normal P20 is at 102, which is amazing. I can't wait to put this to the test, but from the DxOMAR testing, we may be looking at the best camera phone of 2018. Apart from taking crazy high resolution photos, the camera can also shoot 720p 960 frames per second slow-mo videos just like the Galaxy S9 family, and it has a 4D predictive focus, so moving shots of flower or babies will come out clear. Number 4, in-display fingerprint scanner. Now like I said, Huawei has announced a new Porsche designed phone on the Huawei Mate RS and that phone actually has no notch and it comes with dual fingerprint scanner which actually sounds pretty stupid there is one fingerprint scanner in display and one on the back. I don't know why you would need. I'm pretty sure you're going to use just one while unlocking the phone. Something tells me that the in-display fingerprint scanner might not be up to the awesome level of the current fingerprint scanner. So that's why Huawei added a backup option of adding a fingerprint scanner on the back. Just so if the in-display fingerprint scanner is slow, then user can still use the back fingerprint scanner. So for the first time, we have dual fingerprint scanner on a phone. They did it clap. 
Number five, same internals. Now, the processor is same as the Mate 10, which is the current 970, so nothing changed from that. It's a 2017 chip, so I did the performance test against the Galaxy S9 Plus, and since, like I said, it's the same processor, you can expect the same results with the P20 family. Uh, the benchmark score is lower than the Exynos 9810, and also in real life speed test wise, the Galaxy S9 Plus was uh, slightly faster in loading up games and booting up, and also slightly better in RAM management. So pretty much the main change we have with Huawei P20 family is its camera, and there's a new color, and there's this notch which you can hide. So gotta say for me, the cameras are definitely the main attraction tracking point and as of now there's no word about the official US release but the phones are being released in the UK and for the pricing the P20 will cost around 679 euros the pro model will cost 899 while the Porsche design model will cost somewhere around 1600 euros so that will be an insane price for the phone I think most people will go for the P20 Pro model because that's the model uh, with the most features. So they are expensive phones, but like I said, the best thing is that camera is the main selling point of the phone. It's safe to say that Huawei will dominate the camera smartphone game until let's say the Pixel 3 or iPhone 11 or the Note 9 comes out, which is about three months late. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the P20 Pro and P20 family in general, what you think about everything. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.